So Freunde, ich kann es kaum äh, glauben, es ist aber wahr, Gamescom, für uns der zweite Tag, für euch wahrscheinlich der erste richtige Tag, der Donnerstag. Es geht so richtig los mit dem Gamescom-Wahnsinn und mein erster Termin heute ist einer, auf den ich mich persönlich sehr, sehr freue. Ich habe nämlich zwei Dudes hier und wir spielen ein bisschen das neue South Park Spiel, The Fractured But Whole. Und ich freue mich da extrem drauf, wir lassen uns gar keine Zeit verlieren. Hi guys, thanks for being here, thanks for taking your time. First of all, please introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Mal Hegel. I'm the executive producer for uh, Ubisoft San Francisco studio, uh, working on this game. My name is Paul Cross. I'm the director of design for Ubisoft San Francisco. All right, and you brought uh, South Park The Fractured Butthole, finally playable. Yes. Well, not for me, obviously, you are <laughs> going to play. I'll be controlling uh, it. All right, so uh, don't waste any more time. Let's jump right, right. into the game, I'd say, Great. right? Okay, so The Fractured Butthole takes place right after the Stick of Truth. Yeah. So the kids were still playing uh, playing stick at the very beginning. Yeah. But then they said, no, we're switching the game. So you, as the new kid, have been left behind in Cartman's house. And you're trying to figure out, well, where have the kids gone? And how can you join them? All right. And this is uh, some kind of uh, um, the, the default player character. I can customize my own avatar Absolutely. as used to. Yeah, yeah. So, so you'll be able to set them up exactly how you want. Um, in fact, this time around, you're going to get a whole bunch of uh, additional options you didn't have, including what gender. Ah, okay. Yeah, that was a, a big topic. Yes. Uh, because a lot of girls complained that they couldn't play as actual girls, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So this time around, you will. All right. All right. So we got to the... So Carmen's mom just said that they're downstairs uh, playing, uh, but there's a, a pass key on yeah. this, so I got to enter something. You. Uh, I don't know the key, so you crap donkey, donkey. poop. No. Nope. It could have been right. Could have been right. <laughs> You're probably not going to get anywhere guessing. Yeah. So like in uh, most good adventure games, RPGs, now it's going to try and figure out where can you get the code from. Yes. So Cartman must have it written down somewhere. Go and check out his room. It's always a good look. So there are lots of things you can interact with. So you saw him fart in the box. He's going to be able to find secrets and different little puzzles like, yeah. scattered throughout the world. So there's always going to be something interesting to do for exploration. Yes. And of course, a lot of Easter eggs, right? Absolutely. Just like in the first game, I see the beefcake shirt over there and the, the, the coon costume and stuff like that, right? Right. And what's going to be uh, more interesting is that when you collect these things, when you find these things around <laughs> the world... Oh, this is Carmen's journal. <laughs> yeah, of course it is. And, uh, the shit list, yeah. <laughs> All right. He has a little yeah? bit of a fetish. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's Cartman after all. Ah, yeah. So here's the key, co yes. key code. All right. So the key code is... Yeah. <laughs> mom. <laughs> no, we can say it. <laughs> okay, we can say it. Fuck you, mom. Fuck all you, right. mom. So all right. <laughs> it's South Park after all. <laughs> we cannot mince words here. So what we're saying is, as you're collecting more loot around the world, you're going to be able to take that and then craft new items, all right. which you're going to be able to use to power yourself up. Okay. So, so instead of just having piles of stuff you don't know what to do with, they're yeah. not going to be useful. All right, so here we go. Fuck, Fuck you, you, mom. mom. <laughs> and we're in. That's not enough, Mosquito. We have to act fast before the Freedom House can. If there is someone in this town, you know someone who works at Netflix, <laughs> then we have to find that person today. But we were going to start our franchise play with movies. The Super Quake Netflix series comes later. We can start with the Netflix series. You know that's what Freedom House is thinking. But who in this town could have a connection to Netflix? Think of it. Think of it. That is what we must find out. ABLs on all known Freedom House activity. Humankind fast pass, see what you can learn about their POIs. Super Craig, just, I don't know, <laughs> browse the internet or something. Let's go, Cooper! So the boys have split off into two different yeah. groups that are each trying to make their own superhero <laughs> franchise <laughs> and make a billion dollars. So now as the new kid, you're trying to find a way of getting Cartman's attention so that maybe he will uh, let you play with them. Yeah. Was this the main uh, story idea uh, from, from the get-go, to poke fun at the whole superhero genre? Uh, yeah, it was, it was always superheroes. Again, okay. you, you can't move in the uh, movie theater without a superhero That's movie. That's true, yeah. And uh, we know that for the next 10 years, superhero yeah. movies, like two, three, four yes. a year. And, uh, and Trey thought that was kind of funny. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Do not touch that! That device can blow up the entire Milky Way galaxy! This dork, like, wearing a little crown? Does this look like a superhero to you? 
Yes, I mean, just as, just as little boys do. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> very normal. <laughs> yeah, obviously, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so ah, all right. So this is the first time in the game that you're actually going to choose your class. Yes. So this is the type of character you're going to play as. So we have uh, 12 classes here. Um, obviously, the first three will be available at the very beginning. Um, but what makes it really cool is that you can become a brutalist at the very beginning of the game. Yeah. And then later on, Cartman says, oh, you can have a dual class. So you okay. become a brutalist speedster ah, or a right. brutalist elementalist. Yeah. All right. Combine the powers whichever way you want. Yeah, nice. So really make a custom class for yourself. What about you? Okay, I cannot answer that. <laughs> ah, okay, all right, yeah, all right, okay. <laughs> but we also know that it's a very, you know, highly re you know, requested <laughs> class, so we'll, we'll definitely keep that in mind. Lay awake that night, like so many other nights. You couldn't sleep because you knew you weren't like the other kids. <laughs> and of course it would be super Jew. Yeah, obviously, of course, yeah. <laughs> So and this is a tragic kind of backstory. Right, of our hero. every superhero needs a tragic yeah, backstory. Yeah, obviously. So these the serve two purposes. Know. One, That's they're funny. But two, what it's actually going to do is actually explore the powers that you get with that class. All right. So you go back, you see the powers in context, and you're learning how to use them. So again, it's a tactics game at heart. Yeah. So um, it's now exits the room. Oh no! Oh no! 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 no. It's gonna get ugly. <laughs> So each of these sections are actually narrated by Cartman yeah. and uh, show you how to use the powers. So here we see now he's using his quantum punch. Now the combat system has been completely reinvented yeah. since, uh, since Stick of Truth. What we wanted to do is add more depth and tactics and uh, to how, how you're going to play. And uh, Trey is a huge board game fan, okay. so we really sat down and talked about well, how can we create that feeling of taking turns and playing on a board yeah. and making decisions and while still leaving great room for comedy. And uh, so we came up with a system that's uh, it's like a classic tactics game yeah. with, a few, with a few interesting twists. Was there ever any concern uh, for the um, combat uh, gameplay to get you know, too deep, too complicated, oh, and not so user-friendly like in the first game? All the time. So, yeah. uh, like, it's really, really important to us that anyone can play. Yeah. Um, you know, we want fans of South Park that don't necessarily play a lot of video games to be able to come in and enjoy themselves. Um, so, as we've been developing this, we're really looking and saying, well, how can we keep it simple? And how can we keep all those, like, core decisions that anyone can understand? Yeah. Like, well, this guy should stay away. Yeah. That's nice and simple to understand. <laughs> but we don't, we don't have uh, like percentage chance of hits. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to get into a great position and then miss. Yeah. Because yeah. That's, that, that, that's very frustrating yeah, for a lot yeah. of players, especially yeah. casual players. Yeah. Um, so that doesn't the fallout phenomena, as I call it. Right. I mean, <laughs> XCOM is amazing. Yeah, it's for wonderful. Example, yeah. Um, I, I'm I'm a big fan. All the guys yeah. in the office are a big fan. But uh, I'm not going to get my casual South Park fan friend to play no, through XCOM. No, of course not now. So, uh, so as much as we could say we are making a game like XCOM, it's not not, it's uh, not like <laughs> XCOM. Not yeah, like yeah. XCOM. <laughs> yeah. So, whilst retaining those same things, of I want to worry about where I position myself. Yeah. I want to worry about which characters I'm using and the class setup so and uh, how I how I level up. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> and led you to fight and cry. You were too late. Because when you opened that door, you saw... You saw your dad. Your of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Something we can all relate to. Yeah. We've all been there. <laughs> That's you truly tragic, yeah. Like you <laughs> Some things cannot be unseen. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> it's like a ribbon in time you can't ever change, isn't it? So that'll be your first encounter with that backstory. And as you yeah. travel through the game, exploring different classes, that will be more fleshed out more and more and more. Okay. So you understand right. truly what happened to drive you to become yeah. a superhero. Right. So for the sake of a demo, we then skip later yeah. into okay. the uh, mm -hmm. later into the uh, product, into the game. Um, oh yeah. So onto Main Street. 
Uh, in this in this version, you can't go into the all the buildings. You're going to be able to go in. Oh, We've great. got all kinds cool. of different ways of exploring, yeah. and one of the things we do is we actually get buddy powers. Yes. So this one we see here is called Fart Core. <laughs> <laughs> so you and uh, Kyle, the human kite, yes, <laughs> being able to fly and reach different inaccessible That's parts nice. of the areas. So you're going to find these puzzles. You're going to find secrets and yeah. jokes and other challenges all throughout the world. And some collectibles, I guess, like the Jim Pokemon in the first game? Like Jim Pokemon. Like, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Again, can't tell you what it is, but, uh, <laughs> but <right>. it's funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you also find around the town there are lots of new places that didn't exist in the first game. Oh, okay. So like uh, Freeman's Tacos, you might have noticed, yeah. and uh, a number of other locations that you'll, you'll see later in the year. All right. We were supposed to be a duo, remember? We? Yeah, I remember. So this is going to be epic. <laughs> the Avengers can suck it. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're seeing is this this is one of the first major fights in the game. Yeah. You've got a big board to play on, you've got lots ah, of okay. characters all, right. all very powered up. Yeah. So now as targeted Mysterion, he knows that Mysterion is very dangerous, he's a very strong character. Yeah. Then uh, Wonder Tweak is taking his turn for the Freedom Pals. He has uh, he's a ranged character, he's trying to stay away, just like human kite. Hey, he's uh, squishy. Yeah, so okay. he wants to stay back. <laughs> but he positioned his, uh, his speedster, new kid speedster, so that Mysterion is going to be uh, attacking him to defend human kite. So I have more depth, uh, uh, depth as a player, but I cannot truly screw up in a fight. I don't have to do some right, special right. specific moves in order to win. You don't have to do specific, uh, specific moves in order to win. Now, you're going to need to pay attention. Yeah, it's, obviously. It's, yeah, it's okay. a game. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but we, we're trying to find that nice balance yeah. between if you're just kind of you know, not playing properly and not really paying attention, you make. <laughs> and again, you know, the, the kids are playing in the normal world. Yeah. And so things like that happen where it gets interrupted. You know, just like when you were kids and playing on the street. The yeah. Come by, you gotta. We all can relate. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so if you're not paying attention, you might miss the jokes. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but, it, but you may, you will still lose. You, uh, you yeah. have to concentrate, but you're not going to be sitting there for hours judging and trying to figure out what's the yeah. perfect tactic and saving in the middle of a fight because uh, no, it's not... It's, it's a, not a hardcore tactics game. It's not a hardcore yeah. tactics game. Yeah. It's a fun, entertaining, yeah. interesting um, tactics game. We are looking at ways of, of putting uh, optional battles and things that may really test your skills. Okay, all right. Um, like uh, El Gore in the first game. Like El Gore in the first game. <laughs> he was really a tough one. Because <laughs> we know that some guys are going to want to uh, min-max their character. They're going to yeah. want to see how can they find the best ways of leveling up. Yeah, What's yeah. the perfect combination of powers? Exactly, yeah. But that won't stop you from enjoying the story. Yeah. Okay, so now actually got to a point where he's, uh, he's, he's got his ultimate ability available. And, okay. And, and uh, Human Kite has death from above. Okay, that's kind of overkill. <laughs> it's kind of overkill. We amped it up for demo purposes. Yeah. It's a nice All finish. Right. <laughs> uh, okay. They are. Um, so when you earn them as you're playing, as you're playing well, you'll uh, be able to wipe everyone out. Yeah.
Oh, no. <laughs> You'll have to wait a few months before you can uh, see the rest. Ah, oh, <laughs> God damn it. That looked really, really funny, guys. Uh, one last question, maybe. I have to ask it. How was working with Trey and Matt? Brilliant. Brilliant. It's, uh, I mean, we, we, we talk about the fact that uh, we were both South Park fans, uh, about most of the team who have grown up with it. And it's been yeah. 20 years of South Park. And uh, just jokes from the show, just they're, they're in our everyday speech. We talk yeah. to each other, we make mm -hmm. jokes uh, based, off the, based off the show. So, so to be able to sit down with them and actually help shape, uh, shape, shape a game with them, It's, it's been phenomenal. And they trust you, obviously, because South Park is kind of a, a big deal, you know? Absolutely. You, you can't and let anyone mess around with that. And it's, you know, it's something that they've been passionate about, that, yeah. that whole world, you know, it, it's, it's them. It's them. And so, uh, you know, it, it definitely took us uh, a long time to forge that relationship yeah. and make sure that they, entrust the, you know, mm -hmm. they entrusted us to actually turn it into the game. But it's been a great relationship. And uh, we could only do that by you know, engaging with them on a daily yeah. basis, and it's really been fantastic as a result. Well, it's going to be a treat for the fans, I guess, the yeah. game. All right, guys, thank you very much. Can I, uh, can you leave this build here for me <laughs> to play it again nope. and again and again, maybe? Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to talk we'll about talk it. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> yeah. uh, thanks again, guys. It was very, very fun. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, Leute, das war South Park, The Fractured But Whole. Ich weiß nicht, wie es euch geht. Ich bin richtig angefixt. Ich habe richtig Bock auf den Scheiß. Um, ja, bald kommt's raus, und wir werden auf jeden Fall noch ein paar Mal darüber berichten. Tschüss. So, uh, if you had to describe Horizon in a nutshell, would you say it's a futuristic robot dinosaur fighting open world game? What kind of game is it? <laughs> it's, it's, I, I wouldn't peg it in any one of yeah. these kind of categories. Uh, 